All right, don't worry about the Knicks, because it's your boy Chris with the Knicks. And I just want to talk about the whole Emily B and Fabulous situation at Coachella. All right, so for those, so for those of you who do not know, Emily B and Fabulous have been on and off, and he's been placing hands on her to the point he knocked out her two front teeth. And so, a lot of people, you know, there was a video of her recording him saying he gonna kill her, he ought to beat her ass, and all this stuff, you know, domestic violence. So they were spotted at Coachella, or Beachella, as you want to say, this past Friday, or this past week, and a lot of people saying, yeah, you dumb bitch, you stupid, he ought to knock the rest of your teeth out. He gonna fuck you up. He gonna put you in the grave. You know, my thing about it is some women like that. I'm not condoning um, violence. You know, I'm not saying she's without flaw either. But you know, everybody's all flawed. But she got that Stockholm syndrome. And a lot of women that you probably know do go back to these type of dudes because they're trying to secure that bag. They don't. You know, they need somebody physically to be there you know they don't want to be alone they need somebody there no matter what kind of man they need somebody there you got even women that's married to suspect dudes dudes uh that mess with other dudes but like i said they need to secure that bag they need to be there they need somebody to physically be there instead of loving themselves getting them a dude that's gonna treat them right they rather be with a loser and you know fabulous is famous he got money when he lived in that mansion, so and she got kids, so she feel like, well, I don't need to work, and she knows that, um, because Fabulous knows that he could place hands on her, because she's not that type of chick that's just, you know, out out and about it, you know. Like Queen Latifah said, if you put your hands on me, I'm put your ass in handcuffs. But she redid all her recording, and she didn't, she didn't, uh, she went back with them. You know, because she got that Stockholm Syndrome. And for those of you who do not know Stockholm Syndrome, Stockholm, there was a bank in Stockholm. Uh, I forgot where Stockholm is at, but there was a bank, and their bank got robbed. But then, when you know, the police were called, but when the police came, everybody in the bank was uh, saying, oh, don't take don't take them to jail. Don't take them to jail. Um, leave them here. Don't take them to jail. There are some good people. But yet, still, these are the same people that was going to rob you and possibly kill you over some money. So that, you know, so she has Stockholm Syndrome. Like Eve said, love is blind. It'll take over your mind. What you think is love is truly not. You need to realize and find that love is blind. Because she had a homegirl that was in domestic. Like the song say, you know, uh, at the, at the end of the song, because the songs tell the story, basically at the end of the song, you know, she went back with him, he beat her again, to the point, she, you know, she had blood pouring from her head, she got stitched up, but she died, then he came to the funeral, you know, that's the same thing that could probably, possibly happen to Emily B, but again, that's her and her situation, you know, some of these females like dudes placing hands on them. You know, they have daddy issues. You know, let's not, you know, let's not take that away from the table. You know, because, you know, you have a lot of females that be getting beat by these dudes. They call their family. They want to call the police. And then, you know, you jump in. You keep entering yourself into that situation. And then they end up taking the dude back anyways or saying, or saying oh, he's mine. He's mine. You know, ain't nobody going to love him like I do. He's mine, you know, back off, you know. So why put me in, why put other people in situation, you know? Don't call me until you really need me. So, so that's how I feel about the situation. How y'all feel about it? Any comments, questions, concerns, leave me a comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy, Chris with the next. Peace.